Okay, I'm doing this because the other day they re-aired the motorway patrol show. That's the one that they filmed in 2011 when the Crown originally owed me $72,000. I'd already listed all the people I'd been to, which at that time period had been the Prime Minister's office, the Minister of Social Development, along with back around through the Young Guzman's office and a whole series of MPs, CEOs and etc. Well, they aired the show again, and from what I'm told, they still edited the fuck out of it, try to make me look stupid when I'm actually telling the truth, which just goes to show what double standards New Zealand has for when it comes to someone who is not one of their standard media people, which is IEE, for their stories, somebody black with a bunch of snot-nosed kids. And um, between then and now, which is it first aired in 2011, which was the last elections, it aired again the other day, and not one person has come to me and said to me, has it changed? Has they fixed anything? Have they done anything? No, they stand there and they laugh and they think it's funny. And they keep thinking it's funny. And then they wonder why people get angry with them when those who know what I'm going through hear them making fun of me and they go and actually tear strips off them. Because my friends have seen what I've had to put up with. You people online who watch this are starting to see what I'm putting up with. Some of you think it's funny. It's not funny. That's why I started getting the stage I documented here online, because I'm fed up with this shit. Because I'm not black with a bunch of snot-nosed kids, the media doesn't give a rat's ass about me. I spoke to the Herald again the other day, before they aired the show. In fact, I didn't even know they were going to re-air the show, until one of my friend's daughters rang me to tell me that it was going to come up. I never heard anything from TVNZ about it. I never heard anything from anybody about it. Nobody's done anything since the show aired, originally, in 2011, and even when it aired three days ago. But my other friends have heard comments been made and they've been listening to what's been said. And they still don't think it's right that I have to put up with this kind of crap from the government when they did this to me. They won't fix anything. And our own people keep turning around and may have, because I'm not one of the so-called minority groups, and yet I'm the biggest minority, which is single white female with no children, and make fun of me. I am not nuts. You have seen paperwork that I've produced and put copies up online here so people can get an idea. Not one person is bothered to come and ask me beyond being smart-ass when I'm yelling at Vin for the shit he's done to me, who is half the reason of why I'm still stuck in this shithole being tortured by people. No, everybody insults the fuck out of me, thinks it's funny, or calls me names like I'm an anarchist and I'm crazy and I'm around the bend and I'm this, that and the other, except you've seen some of the paperwork I've put up. You've seen some of the stuff I've had to deal with. So take your heads out your ass, have a good look, have a good think, and then actually do something constructive with your life, even if it doesn't help me.